My name is Brittany Pittman and I was a student for the Humanities 3100 course here at Grenfell Campus. So this was the course offered um, in Indigenous Studies, offered by Kelly Ann Butler, that involved not only traditional students of Grenfell Campus Memorial University, but also it was open to members of the community from any, uh, any educational background. There was no prerequisites or any um, other requirements. So the course itself was based on autobiographies of Indigenous peoples, and so um, in our in our learning, we used primarily Indigenous autobiographies as uh, sources and as a means of um, learning and gathering knowledge, but also other sort of non-traditional sources like Indigenous art or music. Within the uh, the autobiographies, we saw a lot of the author's own culture and uh, language and experiences in their indigenous communities and also through the music we saw different indigenous languages and then additionally through the community students we saw a like a large variety of backgrounds of indigenous people and so we got a chance to sort of share our cultural experience and our culture with each other. So for me it was definitely the involvement of sort of non-traditional students. So there was a, a large variety of students so um, we had a vice chair of the local, a uh, vice chief of the local uh, First Nations band. We also had an elder, and then so we had other, um, other primarily indigenous peoples from the community. So we had um, post-secondary educators, and we had just sort of people from a, a large variety of backgrounds taking part in the course. And I think that really helped to um, aid in our knowledge, like our learning as traditional students, through discussions and also. Uh, just through seeing a wide variety of, of opinions and backgrounds coming through. I think um, primarily uh, amongst me and my peers, we have a, a different appreciation for Indigenous knowledge bases and Indigenous forms of communication in terms of uh, using them within the institution, like educational institution. And so I think um, a lot of Indigenous knowledge was passed down through oral traditions, and I think we really got a chance to appreciate those and appreciate their utility in um, academia. For me, Indigenous education uh, means incorporating not only decolonization and indigenization within the education system, but also utilizing um, some more Indigenous means of ed like indigenous means of, of teaching and communicating. So uh, maybe speaking in a circle or um, having elders come in and share knowledge rather than taking it purely from a textbook. And also um, within indigenous education, I think that it's important that we include it not only in just the social sciences but also um, include indigenization in our education in a variety of fields and topics. So. Um, not only history, but also math or chemistry. I think that's important in Indigenous education. I would like to see like an expansion in the number of similar courses offered. So maybe not just a humanities course, but also in other disciplines, and also um, so a similar um, a similar setup where we we take Indigenous um, sources and use those in. Um, in a broad variety of, of topics and subjects. And not only that, but I think also, um, um, I think it's important that we educate our educators on Indigenous cultural sensitivity and um, Indigenous history. And I think it's important that not only, uh, not only social science educators know about Indigenization and about Indigeneity, but also um, everyone. I think primarily we need um, workshops for um, for professors and faculty, um, and I think that they need to be they need to be informed. Like they they don't just automatically know this. I think that it's important that we have resources for them to go to, so that they can get the right information and sort of have a, a good idea on how they can proceed and they can incorporate indigenization in their education platforms.